Hey, what's happening, guys? So Brentford have officially completed the signing of Netherlands international Mark Flecken for reported £11 million. He joins on a four-year contract and will link up with his new teammates in pre-season once his work permit gets sorted out. Before I do a breakdown on the player, I can't help but give a shout-out to Brentford. Not only have they completely shot down the narrative surrounding second-season syndrome by finishing in a hugely impressive ninth place, but also replaced the soon-to-be outgoing David Raya, who for me is one of the best goalkeepers in the league, with a player that many in Germany believe could go on to be even better than his predecessor. For those unaware, he kept 13 clean sheets in 34 matches for Freiburg this season, which was the most in the Bundesliga, and has sacrificed the chance to play Europa League football in order to try his hand at the English top flight. In some ways, Fleckens had a rather peculiar career trajectory. He came through Aachen's academy as a 19-year-old and spent the next six years of his career as a bit of a journeyman across numerous unfancied clubs in Germany before finally finding a stable home in Freiburg, who he actually joined as a number two before becoming the undisputed starter in due course. Not only did Flecken go on to captain Freiburg, but has also earned himself four caps on the international stage, which just goes to show you why he's so highly rated. Regarding his style of play, he's a modern-day ball-playing goalkeeper with hugely impressive distribution, as well as excellent shot-stopping ability. His spatial awareness as a sweeper is what sets him apart from his peers, and when you couple that with his leadership skills and vocal personality, you have yourself an individual who won't shy away from directing those in front of him. Furthermore, he's gotten to where he is today the hard way. The guy had a serious injury which ruled him out for over a year, and along the way has also become a bit of a meme for conceding a goal because he was busy drinking away from his water bottle. Nevertheless, he's more than bounced back and even earned comparisons to Manuel Neuer over this past year. So for Brentford to be buying him for a quarter of the price they're demanding for Raya just goes to show you what a brilliant business model they have in place. I try and keep these videos as short and concise as possible, so won't go on any longer, but would love to hear your thoughts down below, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Cheers and I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Peace.